It's not weird to me at all. Not at all. <laughs> nope. She thought it was a bit of a weird request, but uh, yeah. But it was a good one. <laughs> Usually that involves being in a pool of it, like a little kiddie pool or something, you know, and just with a spoon. When people hear about her obsession with Tillamook cheese, like they're always weirded out. And, and then it quickly reminds me like, okay, this is strange. I don't think there's been a day that I've gone without Tillamook. Certainly not in a long, long time. It's like perfect. This is Tillamook, Oregon, home of the Tillamook Creamery. These are Tillamook's farmer owners, and this is what they're known for. That right there is their logo. Tillamook! This is Tillamook the dog. These are Tillamook the dog. And this is Tillamook the artist, who happens to also be a dog. It's called Vampire Bats. This is a lifelong commitment, a fashion statement. And this is an actual wedding, officiated by a seven-foot block of Tillamook cheese. This is a super cheesy pickup line. You had me at Tillamook cheese. And even cheesier wedding toast, and a completely unrelated birth announcement. This is a story about how the passion and craft of 80 farmer families from Tillamook, Oregon, sparked next-level fandom around the world. Sorry, I almost ran over a banana slug and I didn't want to do that. Yes, I think about Tillamook cheese when I run in all the different forms. It's calling my name, I'm calling my name. I wanted to be able to wear something when I do my ultra marathons that stood for the same things I stand for. Sense of pride and not trying to take a shortcut. And it tastes like Oregon. I'm not from Oregon, but I've always felt like part of the Tillamook family. It's just such a part of my life. I feel like I, I am Tillamook. What choice do I really have? If, I mean, I love Emily, so I therefore have to love Tillamook cheese. We'll do toast with Tillamook, cashews in Tillamook, almonds in Tillamook, walnuts in Tillamook. It is kind of crazy. Grilled cheese on Monday, quesadilla on Tuesday, mac and cheese on Thursday, pizza every Friday night with Tillamook cheese. That's not that unusual, is it? You need to carry your toothbrush around so you have a, a place to put that. I need to carry my cheese around so I had a backpack. That's logical. I guess it's not, is it? <laughs> See, now you're making me feel weird. <laughs> if Sydney decided that she liked a different brand of cheese, I don't think I'd get angry. I would just be super disappointed. Sydney, what does cheese taste like? <laughs> cheese? <laughs> Maybe my love for this is really different and really extreme, and but it's totally part of who I am, and he loves and embraces that. I've come to accept it. I named my dog Tillamook. Like I, I thought for sure till they would find people all over the country who had done that. Who was Tillamook Cheddar? As far as I'm concerned, I think she's the greatest dog artist that ever lived. Being a cheese enthusiast for a long time, I was like, oh yeah, Cheddar. I could call her Tillamook Cheddar, and then we, you know, call her Tilly. She arguably really had no influences as artists, like. She's not aware of Cy Twombly. She's not aware of Jackson Pollock. Like she, like as far as I know, I don't always see it. A lot of people say, "What's the intention? Are they intending to create artwork?" I don't think we're owed an explanation from any artist. Yeah, can a dog be an artist? Can a dog be a great artist? I don't even think that I've done an ice cream cone, to be honest. So, first ice cream related tattoo. I basically just pulled up some Tillamook images, made the cow real big because that was important to him also. I'm really happy with it. Every time someone sees it, they compliment me on it and then they're like, so why did you get it? For me, it's how creamy the ice cream is. We found Tillamook and Eric is actually <laughs> crying. <laughs> if a panda and an angel had an illicit love child, and that illicit love child came up and gave you this nice, warm, all-encompassing hug. That's Tillamook cheese. The only thing I like about the West Coast is Tillamook and my son-in-law and his family. That's it. Well, now the rest. I didn't really start putting Tillamook cheese on cheese steaks until I moved to Philadelphia a few years ago. Here's the problem. 
See, he, he's not from Philadelphia. You have to have, I'm telling you, you have to have American cheese or provolone. Don't let anyone fool you. American cheese, fried onions is the way to go. They don't understand until I give them some, and then they understand. I have slowly <laughs> made everyone in this family a convert over to Tillamook products. Cheddar is better. <laughs> Another convert, right, Gary? Think it will work? Oh, yeah. I'm going to edit the chewing out. Sleep in heavenly cheese. I write a blog, and there was a fan that wrote me and said, um, hey, is there anything you miss from North America? And I said, oh, Tillamook cheese, that's 100% the biggest thing I miss. Uh, the things I miss from home, green trees, fresh air, definitely Tillamook cheese. And a couple weeks later, I got an email from her and she said, hey, my husband is flying through and he's got some Tillamook cheese from you from America. Bringing in cheese in a is like super duper illegal, so you can't do that. I messaged my mom and said, hey, can you send me some cheese from home? When the TSA agent started to open my bag, I think that's when it hit me. They pull out this giant loaf of cheese, dead center, wrapped in underwear. So they kind of had to smuggle it, and we did the kind of handoff at the airport, and there we were. Cut off a huge slice, eat it immediately, because I'm greedy like that. <laughs> they might deport me, put me in jail. They can look at my underwear, but I don't want them to see my cheese. You know, that's very private. Yeah, absolutely, it's worth the risk. I hope the cheese fans out there understand that. I get the cheese, call it Tillamook. Get to the cream, yeah, that's Tillamook. If they ain't looking, go tell them, look. <laughs> it's a bomb, though, for real. <laughs> some people have popcorn. Some people have peanuts. We have a block of cheese. And I don't know why. So now he's dating a new guy. If you bring him to F Street and he won't eat the cheese, kick him out. Take him to the side. <laughs> he's not worthy. I couldn't say for sure, but I've been coming in here since the uh, early 80s. And so my recollection is it's been here since then. There was one lady, I wish I knew her name because it'd be a way better story, but she was hell-bent on us getting rid of our cheese. So, like, it went to court and everything. Tillamook, you guys probably know this, you guys paid for our lawyers to represent us in court. And we won. We got our cheese. <laughs> they put up a sign saying you're not allowed to eat the cheese, but some people take the risk. <laughs> People try to steal it. We actually have one customer who's stolen it three times, and he's not allowed to steal it anymore. They know who he is, Adam. And I get recognized on a very regular basis, you know, as the ice cream guy. I love that. I love it. I mean, there's a narcissism to it a little bit. I worked as an engineer for several years and uh, made grilled cheese as a hobby. And it just became my kind of weird alter ego, which I guess is now my primary ego. What makes Chicago home for me is comfort, man. It's family, it's culture, and it's good eats. We found that Tillamook's cheddars, the medium and the sharp cheddars both, actually are just perfect for grilled cheeses. It was a no-brainer when we were thinking about what we were going to put in our truck. It was Tillamook. People just love it. When Tillamook cheese melts, it's not oily. It's super creamy, so you can tell they're using high-quality product, like really, really good milk. It's got this, like, unctuous, gooey quality, right, where it just feels so decadent. And that, my friends, is a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. Pretty good. I want to see that spark. I want to see that moment whether you're an adult or a child, where it's like, I've made your day. You know, and then we see them sort of take a bite, and then there's like this, doing the like, cheese goo. But see, people smile as you go by even. That's the kind of emotion that an ice cream truck evokes, or at least a not creepy one, you know? Oh my God, <laughs> that's utterly chocolate. Because you... <laughs> so what is it that inspires grandsons and artists? Osaka expats and Alaskan risk takers
to go to such great lengths to celebrate and secure some Tillamook. Tillamook is very passionate about their people, the dairy farmers, the cows, everybody is of the, you know, on the same level of importance. We want to be able to look our customers in the eye when they ask us where our cheese comes from and be proud of the answer. We have aspirations of being a part of people's lives and I hope that we can fulfill our side of that as good as Tillamook has. Killed it.